day six it's a new week our trade still not in profit and not ready to be closed just yet above that five period moving average which we do see the white line comes past our entry price all we want is one big red day now tomorrow get us into profit get us below that five period moving average get us some money again though nothing for us to do with it let's have a look at those other currency pairs see if we've got any entries euro swiss franc getting below five on the rsi but price is below that 200 period moving average so we ignore it and we move on same story on the euro cad big sell off on price rsi below five nothing else of interest and certainly no new entry signals for us we'll just come back tomorrow and check again day seven our aussie dollar new zealand dollar trade hanging in there price a little bit above the average still it's not good to be hanging in there we still got this hope of one big red day coming we see it did find quite a low if that had been the close or even if it was back from the close it'd be looking pretty good still though we continue to wait no more green candles at least otherwise it stays above the five period and who knows what happens at that stage let's check out those other charts see what we got so close to a signal here on the euro Aussie dollar rsi down at 5.87 price above the 200 average nearing that buy trade one more day of red and we should see it come sell-off continues on the euro cad rsi down at a value of two Eesh, a lot of red more red than the towns i paint on the australian dollar japanese yen pair we are seeing the rsi at a reading of 95.16 so it's overbought with the price below the 200 period moving average which means we can get into a sell trade but because we are already in an Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar trade, we don't want to shovel on too much risk onto one currency pair, i.e. the Australian dollar, because with two sell trades against it, if that has a strong day, and especially because we don't have a stop loss on, things could go really badly. We will not be taking it. We'll be patient about it. And that is it. So no extra entries. This one still seems to be going green. Let's hope for that to return. We still want that big red day. Nothing changes for us here. But maybe it will have changed in 24 hours time. Day 8 and we are facing a real gut shot wound. The RSI on our Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar trade again is above 95. 97.35 to be precise. But the end result of that means we are currently down on this trade. $122.95 as we read it now including the swaps. We are really hankering for a massive red day tomorrow because price is still on the upside of the five period moving average. The questionability of this strategy to exclude a stop loss is already being called into question on day eight with only one trade in. Still though, let's stay optimistic and believe that there is better trades out there for us. See if we can find them. We had been gearing in pretty close to a trade on the US dollar Canadian dollar, hoping price was gonna come down enough to stay above the moving average, but also enough to push this RSI below the five level. Doesn't get there though with a small green candle today we see it push upwards here comes our signal and it is on the euro australian dollar rsi reading 3.79 oversold territory prices above the ema long-term bull pattern but we cannot take it because we are already in an australian dollar trade ah oh, rats never mind need to maintain sensibility so let's move on and see if there are any legitimate signals out there and that is it no signals on the charts we continue to remain hopeful and faithful to this trade let's hope it rides that elevator down tomorrow big red on the aussie dollar it's all we want we'll see if it comes tomorrow day nine and the bad gets worse it is another green day for the aussie dollar rsi now up at 98.6 we still need that big reversal a red candle something to get us beneath that five period moving average but it is not looking good for the lack of stop loss this started as hopefully we get some good profit, to hopefully we break even, to now being at hopefully we don't lose too much. Let's see if there's any other signals out there for us though. Hopefully one or two to get in on, perhaps. Did have that signal on the Euro Aussie dollar as well, which we didn't want to take up. And we can see it's a good thing that we didn't. It would have been a buy trade in here. So far down about 95 pips. At the moment this chart does make a good case for why you shouldn't go into multiple trades on the same currency pair at the same time. Seems like we could have dodged a bullet there. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Couldn't have taken this, but the RSI does stay below five. Increased sell-off, but still no new signals come for us. And I'm going to be honest, we want something terrible to happen. <laughs> we need an awful day for the Australian dollar. Maybe if Uluru collapsed or something like that. Could see it plummet down to the good. Something needs to get us out of this hole. 
We cannot have price keep going and going and going. Not a good look. Especially since we're in a sell trade. The higher it goes, the more we stand to lose. But we won't know anything until we come back tomorrow to find out. Day 10, it's a lonely trade. At least we didn't see big green. We have seen the RSI dip below 90. A small red day, even if it got to the low, wouldn't have been a close. That five period moving average is still on a bit of a chase. So we'll continue to let this one run. Cost us quite a bit at the moment. But we're still hopeful for that red day. Always hopeful. Always. All right, let's see if we've got any other trades out there to close the week off. Well, we have seen the US dollar, Canadian dollar find its way beneath five on the RSI. It's in the oversold territory at 3.25, the reading. The price went down far enough that it's gone below the moving average now. We need it to be above there for us to be able to get into a trade. So sadly, no signal for us. That one had showed some promise. We needed a bit of red. Maybe if it had come down to about here or so, that could be a nice entry for a rebound. We'll watch where that one goes. RSI again above 95 on the US dollar yen chart. Not a signal for us, but this could be the middle of a second really big run for the dollar against the yen. We saw that one there came up two and a half percent nearly retraced and now the second move swiss franc yen and the yen has had a terrible day as we see big green on this chart in favor of the franc rsi at 98 98 price above the 200 though the euro cad sinks deeper when it went into oversold territory at 95 it was about here so if you'd got in this trade that'd be about one and a half percent against you at the moment even worse than our open trade Good filtering there by the 200 average. Pound Canadian dollar getting below 95 as well. Guess what though? Price is below the 200 as well. Same for the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. No signal. Almost a signal here on the Aussie dollar yen. The RSI is just above 93, almost in that overbought territory. Price is beneath the moving average only by a bit though. So we need to see another green day, but not so much for a green day that it pushes above that average. Still no other entries out there for us, so we remain with our solo, solemn trade. No need to take it to the journal, you can see exactly what's going on. Including the swap, $169.56 down. Let's not give in to those false signals, let's wait for the good ones. Just like this one. Of course. We'll be back.